Hello Libra, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading. Where in this video we're going to be asking the Oracle and the Tarot cards who is coming towards you, so who is approaching you in love for the upcoming days and week. This is a general love reading Libra, if it resonates hit that like button to let me know. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Libra placements and to the cross watchers checking in on a Libra. I do advise just to take the messages as they best resonate for you. I'm just fixing my microphone. Um, you can reverse the roles if need be, guys. Otherwise, do check out your moon sign, your rising sign and your Venus sign if your message isn't here today. So Libra, as you can see, I've already drawn the Oracle cards. This will be the energy surrounding the person who is coming towards you. The three cards that are coming through is the octopus. This is water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the bee, which is air energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius. And we have earth, which is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Now for some of you, that's going to be strong confirmation. For the rest of you, please do not um, worry about it too much. This is just the energy that your person is embodying this week or at this time so what I am getting here um, what I'm getting here Libra is there is someone here who is emotionally connected to you okay I'm getting that with the octopus I'm getting someone who is emotionally connected to you I feel like this person perhaps has an emotional attachment to you um, with the lamb here, this person could be coming across as maybe emotionally detached or maybe you guys are not talking because I'm hearing silence of the lambs. But I do want to say that this person is emotionally attached to you. I do feel when it comes to their emotions, they are a, a confused emotionally and I feel like it's stemming from the fact that maybe they don't know how you feel about them or they don't know where they stand with you. Okay, so I'm getting someone who just kind of is kind of scrambling right now. Scrambling. Mm. You are on this person's mind. I do have to say with the bee here and the octopus, I do feel that you are on this person's mind. And right now they are thinking about a, a reconciliation. This person wants to see if they can work things out with you here. I'm not sure what happened here, but the bee is an energy of collaboration. So they're kind of showing me that they're approaching you because they want to work something out with you. They want to see if they can work things out with you, if they can work through something with you, um, if there is a chance to fix something, like if the connection is broken, they want to see with the bee here if you guys can work at this or work through this. Hmm. They want to see if you can mend maybe emotional bridges. But it, but with the octopus, for some reason, I'm seeing like the seven of cups here. So they feel emotionally conflicted or confused because they don't know where they stand with you. That's the problem here. They don't know where they stand with you. I feel like with the lamb here, this person is feeling very vulnerable right now. Vulnerable. Hmm. I, I'm just getting that this person is willing to maybe make some kind of a sacrifice. Okay, they're willing to make some kind of sacrifices for uh, the relationship or for the connection. So because I feel here with the B, they really try, they're really wanting to work it out with you. Okay, they're willing to put in the hard work. They're willing to put in the effort. They're willing to make certain sacrifices. Mm. 
this person may have hurt you I'm looking at the B in the center here so this person may have hurt you um, maybe they realize here that they've upset you or they've hurt you here I feel like this person is giving off a lot of frantic energy that's how it's coming across and I'm, I'm getting a strong vulnerability surrounding this lamb. Yeah, because I'm hearing silence of the lambs. So I don't know if you've gone silent on them. Maybe that's why they're scrambling here because they don't know what to make of this situation. You've gone quiet with them. They literally, if you're the one that has gone quiet or you've stopped talking to them, they literally cannot stand it. They, with the B here, they just want to see you. They just want to hear your voice. They just want to catch up with you. Like, like I am getting a desperate energy coming from the octopus. I'm being really honest with you. I'm getting like, they're just, they're desperate to work things out with you. Mm. All right. Um... What is this person's intentions with Libra? Why are they going to be approaching Libra this week? Why are they going to be approaching Libra this week? Okay, we've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, this may be someone that you walked away from. This may be someone, yeah, that you walked away from. Now, in this Eight of Cups, I'm seeing a bridge and the bridge looks like there's it's broken. So I feel like their intentions here, like I said earlier, is to mend bridges, to mend the emotional bridges because cups speaks to emotions. I feel like this person wants to mend, yeah, the relationship. Mm. All right, what else spirit, what else? Tell me more. What is this person's intentions when it comes to... Ooh, Six of Cups. Mm. Well, they're missing you, that's for sure. This person is definitely missing you. Uh, this person is very attached to you. I do have to say, Libra, this person is struggling to walk away. They're struggling to walk away. They're struggling to just forget about you. This person can't forget about you. You know, the Eight of Cups, it's, it's walking away. It's walking away to the past. So maybe this person has attempted to just walk away, but it, it they're struggling to do so. Um Or if you've walked away from them, like they're struggling to move on. Okay, that this is this is someone who's having a very hard time moving on because you still play a significant role in this person's life. Because this six of cups, it's sitting underneath the B spirit. That's you. Because this is air energy, right? Yeah, this, this person has a strong emotional attachment to you. Uh, maybe you have children. Maybe for some of you, you have children or... It's like, how can I put this? Um, for a small portion of you, your lives are so intertwined. Like you share the same friendship groups or you know, you know each other's families and that really plays on this person. It's like, I can't walk away. We, we literally have the same friends. We're family, like our families are connected. We have children. I mean, the lamb is here. So it could very well be to do with the children, you know. Um, hmm. They feel that your relationship or your connection is very important to them and they feel 
that how do I put this they feel like you're too important to let go this person is willing to work above and beyond to restore your relationship all right let's see what else is going on here yeah the king of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius This person knows what they want. They know what they want because these two swords in the King of Swords, they're not crossed over. So in the Two of Swords, the, the, these two swords are crossed over, which is very, it's Libran energy, right? That's the card of Libra. This person wants you. They are sure, they are clear. Um, that much is true, okay? They know they want you. And they're coming towards you or they're approaching you because they want you to know that. They want you they want you to know that. They want you to they want you to be aware of it. Mm. Yeah, their mind is is made up here. I feel that very very strongly. I'm going to clarify very quickly this King of Swords. Some cards are upside down in the... I'm not taking reversals. Spirit, can we please clarify this King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants you to know that they're not being wishy-washy with you. Um, if, if this is someone who has been wishy-washy with you or who has been maybe inconsistent with you, let me tell you that with the King of Swords, they want to override that energy. They want, they want to be clear with you that that shit's going to be, they're going to cut that shit out, right? They're going to cut that behavior out. They're going to cut that pattern out. Mm. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the outcome, action slash outcome of this situation. Spirit angels and guides. Please show us the action slash outcome of this situation. Action slash outcome of this situation. Maiden of Wands. Excuse me. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is also the Page of Wands, you guys. I'm pretty sure it is the Maiden. The Page of Wands. You know what? Let me just quickly have a look at the cards because I haven't worked with this deck for a while. Yeah, it's the Page of Wands. So action slash outcome. So with regards to action, this person is going to contact you, okay? This person is definitely going to reach out and make contact with you. Maybe it's just to see if you, you will even respond to them and then they'll take it from there, right? Let's see what else is coming through. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, look, I do have to say this person is feeling vulnerable here in the land, but I do feel with regards to the their actions, um, they're going to be confident or they're, they're picking up the confidence or they're plucking up the confidence to message you and contact you. 
because I feel with the Queen of Wands, this person is feeling hopeful and optimistic of perhaps like of a reconciliation and that they can work things out here with you. The Queen of Wands, she's also very, she can be very um, inspiring. So this person will try to inspire you to maybe give them a second chance. Okay, they're going to try to influence you to, to at least give them a second chance. Yeah. All right, action slash outcome. What have we got here? Nine of Pentacles. Nice, I like that. This is someone who sees your value. Okay, they see your value here and they don't want to throw away this beautiful uh, relationship that they have with you. We can see here in the Nine of Pentacles this beautiful plant that has blossomed. So they just feel like your relationship has so much potential to thrive or work through um, any difficulties here. They just don't want to throw it all away. They just feel like you're too valuable or you're too precious to them. Mm. All right, why is the Nine of Pentacles here, Spirit? Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Yeah, if this person has hurt you, upset you, I do get an apology coming in, guys. I do. Page of Cups. This is someone who wants to apologize because... You're an asset to them and they know it. Mm. And they don't want to, like I said, they don't want to throw the relationship away. They feel that you're too important. Okay, they may recognize here with the Page of Cups that they were behaving poorly or immaturely. Hmm. Because even with the lamb, I get like a childlike energy. So maybe this person acts like a child at times or acts very immature at times. With the page of cups, it would be someone who hasn't quite got a grip of their emotions or their feelings. And the page of cups has a tendency to, instead of working through something and talking it out, they have this tendency to kind of go within and disassociate. And maybe even give you the silent treatment, you know, because that's easier than talking about their feelings. Because I, I feel like here, mm, it's just poor behavior, you know. You know what, I'm going to, before we do that, I just want to have a look at this Queen of Wands because it's looking at me. She's looking at me here. Queen of Wands. Spirit, tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here in the action slash outcome? Yeah, the devil. Hmm. The devil with the queen of wands. So honestly, like the devil and the queen of wands, there is a, a obsessive energy coming in around these two cards. So there could be like a love bombing energy coming in here. Um, or 
almost like yeah I just it, it's it's done out of desperation you know and, and I feel like you will sense that desperation from this person mm. okay um, let's grab some last padding messages Libra what have we got here butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful transformation is beautiful okay um, wow this is a number 11 card so I feel that your connection to this person may be a spiritual connection um, I'm seeing soulmates here with the six of cups also I feel like this is a relationship that is undergoing change and transformation right now I mean I'm not surprised with being in Scorpio season that's highly likely right this person may even approach you uh, letting you know that they, they they're going to change they promise to change you know I, I promise Libra to change I promise to do my best yeah because this person can't let you go here with the devil they're attracted to you they're emotionally invested in you and they, they they're not willing to let go anytime soon okay they just can't they've, they've been having a hard time with that already um, seahorse spirit watch and wait seahorse spirit watch and wait I feel like that's you I feel like you're just going to observe this person and you may even give them a chance you may give them a second chance here with the seahorse spirit because the seahorse is looking at the butterfly so if this person's coming to you and saying hey Libra uh, I promise to change I promise to you know um, to change um, you are looking at them and you're like okay all right and you're going to wait and see if they are living up to what they're telling you so I don't feel like for some of you Librans I don't feel like you're going to make a decision straight away I feel like you're going to give this person an opportunity to at least show you that they're willing to make these changes it's almost like you are looking for the change and if you don't notice the change then you will make some kind of a judgment call All right, flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Yeah, I do feel like your connection is going through a transition right now. It's just going through some kind of a transition. Mm. It does feel a little like it's on shaky ground and the reason why I say that is because flamingos stand on one foot and that can't be you know standing on one foot isn't solid it's not stable so it does feel like the connection isn't solid or isn't stable maybe you're looking for more stability I mean this two of pentacles is here right so maybe this person has been presenting as someone who's been very, you know, unstable. Maybe someone that is unreliable at times. But with the King of Swords, it's like this person's coming in promising to cut that out. This person may just require time to prove to you that they can make these changes. They require time to prove to you to make these changes. So nothing's yet set in stone here. But I do see here with the seahorse spirit Libra, you're, you're going to give this person um, an opportunity to prove themselves to you. 
So there's your reading Libra. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop your comments in the comments section below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.